Good morning, you strikingly beautiful person, you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. It's Monday morning, aren't you excited? We're going trucking. We got this trailer right here. Uh, we gotta drop it in Winnipeg at eight o'clock. It is now 20 after seven, and it's going to take me about 15 minutes to get there. So we're ahead of schedule. That's good. I've done my whole pre-trip on this thing already. Uh, tires are filled with premium air. I made sure to check. Yeah, there's just a few skids in here, a few pallets. I'll give you a look. I just have to drop this uh, uh, on the south end of Winnipeg. There you go, see? I wasn't lying to you. Come on, you know me better than that. I wouldn't lie to you. Why would I lie to you? What purpose will that serve? Make sure that gets locked in there properly. Make sure you look up. Because that's the rules. You always got to look up. See? Oh, look up. See? We're off to a great start. This trailer is getting dropped, and then I come back here, I grab something else, and I bring that somewhere too. It's gonna be fun. Don't you just love trucking? Bringing stuff from point A to point B. It's my whole life, and I love it. Betsy today. Rusty old Betsy. Let's get her done, son. Let's go. I'm in a good mood for a Monday. This is strange. I had Starbucks this morning. I wonder if that's connected. Oh no. What's happening to me? It's awful. We gotta make sure the trailer's not gonna fall off first, okay? And roll forward, roll forward, roll forward. Trailer brakes! It's definitely connected. Brakes work, roll forward again. Brakes release. We're ready to rock and roll. I don't know about you, and I'm ready. All right, with that first mission done, just a quick, one and done, a drop and a drop and run, a run and drop. There's no good rhyme to go with that. With that being done, I'm gonna hook up to 5184 here. It's another empty van trailer. And I've gotta go pick up a load over on Logan Avenue in Winnipeg and then uh, bring it over to Transcona, opposite side of the city. Should be fun. Trailer's right here. I just checked to make sure it was empty. Oh, I remember these loads here in the flatbed. I remember picking these up. Yeah, you gotta be very careful with this steel. Bends very easy. See how this person uh, put the strap over the wood like that? And you gotta do it like that or you're gonna bend it. I did a good job. So here's our box. Let's pull this to the other end of Winnipeg. Uh, I'm gonna go around the east perimeter uh, so around the east side of the city, up to the north side where Route 90 comes down, if you're familiar with the city. Come down to Logan there and then go back around that way to Transcona, which is on the east side of the city. If you're not familiar with Winnipeg, I guess that means nothing to you. But this is my life. Life of a city driver right now. At least I get to go home at the end of the day, right? And hey. Get a lot more motorcycling done when you're home more often. I didn't take it to work today because uh, uh, it's supposed to rain this afternoon. Actually, we're supposed to have pretty bad thunder showers later on. And uh, I took the terrain because uh, the train was just detailed. And Frank, Big Frank, the commander, has a vet appointment. Not more a vet appointment, has a, a manicure appointment. Uh, getting his nails done today. So Britt is going to take him in the pickup. Because my pickup hasn't been detailed yet. The terrain has been detailed, so we didn't want to get it all full of dog hair, so... Did a little switcheroo with the vehicles today. It's actually kind of nice driving in. You know, it's a little, little, little bit of a change-up. 
maybe tomorrow. No, tomorrow is supposed to rain too. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is supposed to be nice. We'll probably take the bike in those days. Man, it got dark fast. It is really smoky outside too. So this is a smoke and cloud cover. It's just starting to rain. As soon as this uh, rain hits the fires up north, it sends all of the smoke down right away. It's just like when you pour uh, water onto a bonfire. Uh, tons of smoke comes off of it. That's usually a good thing. I mean, the fire is being you know, put out. Hopefully this rain helps. Can't even see the city over there. The city is like right there, less than a mile away. Can't even see it. It's crazy. I hope we get a good storm out of this and a good rainfall. Really use it already. It's supposed to be just picking up four pieces. I felt them going there twice. Listen to all that rainwater. Finally. Been waiting for rain for months. Hasn't been the biggest rain yet, but it's something. It's something. Who wants to talk to me? What's going on? Nobody. My phone just notifies me of nothing all the time. All the time. Just diddling. Just, just saying hi. Just saying hi. It took them an hour to load me, uh, to get ready to load me, and then they finally got me into a dock. Uh, and then it took about another, I don't know, it took 10 minutes after I was in the dock, but we've got to bring this across the city, drop it off, and uh, I'm double dipping today. Starbucks in the morning, Tim Hortons in the afternoon, all right? I'm like those people that are amb ambidextrous, is that what they call it? You can write with their right hand and their left hand. No, that's not how that works. And now I have to get... Uh, back onto the road here and this guy parked in front of me but he's on the road still just a little bit so uh we got a clearing in traffic now swing myself around this guy without dragging my trailer into his oh no problem no problem no problem Professionals, professionals. So I've got to hurry and uh, get this load behind me delivered so that I can uh, get to my next load. Apparently there's a load waiting for me in the yard already that I have to deliver. A rush, rush kind of day, a busy kind of day. Not a lot of extravagant scenery, but always something to do. There's always something to do. Like Leroy and Leroy say, there's always something to do. You know we manufacture these buses here in Winnipeg? It's pretty cool, eh? Alright, so this is one of our warehouses. I'm gonna go around to the right door back there and back her on in, get this stuff taken off. I wonder what kind of load I have to deliver this afternoon yet. It's already one o'clock. I'll be back at the yard before two, probably hooked up to the other trailer at two. If it's a flatbed load, I'll probably have to tie it down yet. And my uh, selfish nature hopes that it stops raining just for me so that I don't have to strap it down in the rain. <laughs> just getting all our stuff unloaded and look at this. We found another viewer on the dock. Apparently he watches the videos too. All the time, yeah. <laughs> you guys are everywhere. I'm not too sure what we got here even. Like, probably some kind of coolers or something, but. Yeah, it's going somewhere. Oh, it looks like it's in rough shape. There we go. So what was your name again? Clayton. 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 Oh, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, actually. It's yeah. actually a pleasure. He reminded me that I have a gaming channel too. 
that I've been neglecting seriously for the past few months. I've been working so much. I've been working so much doing this stuff that I haven't had time to keep up with that channel. So he's he reminded me it's there. So maybe maybe next weekend I'll have to go and get something done there. run that kind of stuff so or else I'd play it myself so. yeah oh it, my computer just barely handles it well that's pretty cool it's always neat meeting the people that watch my videos it's neat meeting you guys I love it make new friends that way okay so my trailer's empty I gotta head back to the yard now they have another load waiting for me to deliver I'd love to sit here and visit with these guys really friendly guys but work calls duty calls and it looks like it stopped raining for now so i sort of want to get back and uh, tie that load down if i have to before it starts raining again and my gaming channel is sort of new it's uh something that i had started uh in the winter time uh, when i was sort of transitioning out of uh, highway work into something more local and i didn't know what was going on so i started a, a new sort of hobby and a new gaming channel and it, it it was going pretty well and I made a schedule for it and everything and then uh, I got this position and uh, not complaining at all this position's uh, uh, demanding with hours but I like it it keeps me very busy and I haven't had time to work on uh, work on the gaming channel at all Clayton there was just letting me know that uh, he hasn't seen any videos on there for a while <laughs> Okay, so this next weekend, I'm gonna have to set some time aside and make sure that that channel doesn't die out on me. How about you guys? You guys, uh, were you guys into that gaming channel at all? Let me know in the comments down below. Is it your thing? Should I keep making videos there? Should I uh, try to get somewhat of a schedule going? I mean, it, it won't be daily like this channel. But, uh, you know, maybe on the weekends, maybe some evenings, you know, let me know. All right, next assignment. Trailer 605, roll tight. It's got some stuff that needs to be delivered into Winnipeg also. Let's hook her up. You guys see me? Got you mounted in a bit of a different spot. I don't know if I like it yet. So since it's a roll tight trailer, it should be tied down already. Keyword being should. We'll see. There we go, clicked in. Let's go have a look, shall we? That step is still holding. Yeah, it's not gonna break this time. All right, so uh, a quick walk around, landing gear. Actually, you know what? I'll get everything hooked up first, and then I'll do the walk around after. Let's just take a look inside and make sure that it's tied down. Got to make sure that uh, usually. Oh, these things are. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, we got one forklift. Two forklift. What do we have here? Three forklift. Okay, these look fun. And what are these? One, two, three power jacks. Three forklifts and three power jack. And one of whatever that is. What is that? What is this thing? got wheels looks like it's upside down doesn't it what is this? oh I get it those are the forks these are two uh, walk behind power jacks and uh, the forks are on top here I'm guessing the batteries are inside the boxes <laughs> or no wait there's four here oh boy it just keeps getting better Okay, so there's two on the bottom with the forks going underneath there, and then there's two on top. What is it? Four? Is it two on the bottom? Two on top. These are upside down. 
and then the battery packs will be in the middle. <laughs> nice. Okay, so all of this has to get delivered into uh, Winnipeg. I gotta give them a quick call, make sure that they're ready for it, let them know I'm coming. And then, yeah, we can be on our merry little way. Doosan. Doosan. I don't know if I've ever heard of that brand of forklift. Have you? Doosan. I guess they don't come with propane tanks. That makes sense, because if I had propane tanks in here, I'd have to have uh, dangerous goods cards on the side of the truck. And I don't. I'm wondering if the batteries even come separately, because wouldn't the batteries be dangerous goods as well? I bet you the batteries and the propane tanks get shipped separately from a different place. That would make sense. Okay, assignment number three. Underway. Off we go. Skipping. No, let's not skip. That's, we won't be skipping. None of that. None of that stuff here. Okay. It's a Monday. I'm always in a weird mood on Mondays. I said it a couple of weeks ago, but uh, it still stands true that uh, the first five days after the weekend are always the hardest. And this is number one, so. And to the races we go again. Busy Monday, huh? I like that, it keeps me busy. Definitely not bored. <laughs> always got lots to do. So I told them I could be there at about 3.30. Uh, I should arrive there at about 3.15. I asked them if 3.30 was too late to deliver, and they said, no, no, we're there till, they're there till 4.30, so 3.30 should work just fine. So when I show up at quarter after three, instead of 3.30, that should be uh, a little bit of a bonus. And if they're not ready for me, then hey, I can, I can wait an extra 15 minutes, not a big deal. Shouldn't take too long to unload. I mean, just those forklifts and the pallet jacks. I'm thinking, I get there a quarter after three, probably start unloading at 3.30. Then uh, we'd be out of there by four, 4.15. Sounds about right. 4.15, be back at the yard at about five o'clock. Perfect. Thirteen. We're done and I'm rolling out of here. Am I good or am I good? I can almost plan down to the minute how long things will take as long as things don't go wrong. Or maybe it was just luck. It was pro probably just luck. But hey, maybe I'm a lucky guy. Strange having this vehicle here today. <laughs> Better make sure my shoes are nice and as clean as they can be. They're all full of mud. And that was the whole point of me taking this vehicle today was to keep this one a little cleaner. Apparently, uh, uh, the commander had his nails done today and it went well, as far as I've heard. Good for him. He hates getting his nails done. He screams like a little girl. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that though. What you looking at me like that for? What you do? You're bowing down to me. Usually that means you might be hungry. No, not at all. Just a little bit hungry. <laughs> people are popping up all over the place here. That's right, you guys are people in this house. Do people eat food? Yes, people eat food. Only if they're hungry for supper. If you're hungry, sit. Wayner, why aren't you sitting? You're usually the hungriest, the most hungry. Are you hungry? Do it, you swing of us! I'm shaking. <laughs> there you go, now you sat down. Good boy, good boy. Diesel, did you sit? Okay, okay, we only need one more to make it a sealed deal. 
Are we gonna have some supper right now or are we not? Are you hungry? If you're hungry, you have to sit. He's gotta sit, Diesel. Come on, man, just sit down so we can eat. Sit. Can you sit? Oh, there you go. Four for four. I went double, I went double, I lay down and it's like twice as good. I get extra portions. I don't know, Diesel. Maybe, I might, I might. I might. Mom's not home yet, so you're lucky. I might, maybe. Okay, I gotta feed these hungry people. Thanks for watching today. Special shout out to Clayton uh, and all the guys in the, the warehouse there that I met today. It was nice meeting you guys, and uh, I'll probably see you again soon. I'll be by there again, I'm guessing. And I will get going on that gaming channel. <laughs> I know I started this whole new channel and uh, kind of abandoned it. It's not abandoned. I haven't abandoned it. I don't abandon my children. Okay, and my channels on YouTube are like my, my children. And all of you are like my... Ch ch no, you're not like my children at all. That, that, got, that got weird. That got weird. Let's just end it there. But I will... Uh, I'll try to get some content up there soon and see if I can come up with some kind of schedule. You know, I, I do enjoy creating stuff on, on that channel as well. So we'll see you over there. If you haven't, subscribe to that channel already. Uh, link is down below in the description of all my videos. And all kinds of other links if you want early access to these videos. There's a little bit of a delay on them. But sometimes I get them done up to like uh, like five to seven days early. And when they are done that early, uh, I post them up on Patreon. Uh, for those who want to see it earlier. If, if you don't mind waiting for it, that's cool too. You can watch it here. Uh, links are all down below in the description there. I'll see you guys later.